When talking about the new Bible versions, two names come up that connect them nearly all together. Brooke Foss Westcott and John Anthony Hort. When looking at these two men, questionable things start to emerge that cast doubt on their quotations, authority, as biblical translators. In this post, we will be looking at Hort's damnable view on Christ's atonement for sin. Life and Letters of Fenton John Anthony Hort, Volume 1, page 430. I entirely agree, correct one word, with what you dare say on the atonement, having for many years believed that the absolute union of the Christian, or rather, of man, with Christ himself, is the spiritual truth of which the popular doctrine of substitution is an immoral and material counterfeit. But I doubt whether the answers that the question as to the nature of the satisfaction. Certainly nothing can be more unscriptural than the modern limiting of Christ's bearing our sins and suffering to his death but indeed that is only one aspect of an almost universal heresy. We have just gone over a quote from one of the main orchestrators of the supposed The New Testament in the original Greek, who said Christ's sacrifice was not sufficient for the atonement of sin. To simply put it, this is a damnable heresy and makes a person wonder where they would have gotten such a bizarre idea, which this ministry hopes to uncover. How would Hort be able to call anything a heresy if it is not used through the Bible, which is the ultimate authority of discernment on all matters of faith and practice, especially something like this? The title of Westcott and Hort's work is something that new version publishers would call an outright lie, as most would believe there is no way of knowing what was originally written, as only the original autographs were inspired. Thankfully, the King James Bible was diligently and faithfully translated through the received text, and the words of Westcott and Hort should cause alarm to anyone who uses new Bible versions. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils.